everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, football fans, before we cover Dak Prescott's potential mega deal that he just turned down, we're going to start off with a song. Take it away! So one day when Dak met Jerry and he realized that he was kind of good, he wanted money that was really scary. Come on, guys, clap. And so that he can get paid. He tried to take advantage of Jerry's kindness because Jerry is really kind of dumb. He gives players massive contracts, but they don't win the big one. So one day, Jerry offered Dak a $175 million deal. And then Dak turned it down because he's freaking selfish. Remix! Back to the show. What are you thinking? Man, oh my gosh. Dak Prescott, you're not that good. You're not that good. You're not worth the money. Are you trying to win a ring and be great? Or are you just trying to get paid and just be, be that team that's good and just make money? Oh my gosh, I can't stand quarterbacks like y'all. Like, I want everybody to get paid. But I'm sorry, the, the Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo deal, um, I mean, he didn't win a Super Bowl ring, okay? Dak has not won a Super Bowl ring. Matt Ryan over in Atlanta has not won a Super Bowl ring. Um, these guys make lots of money, and that's cool. You're a millionaire, do your thing. But has Tom Brady not taught us anything, people? Let me break it down for you guys. Throughout the years, Tom Brady has been one of the most selfless players. Probably, probably one of the most selfless players in NFL history. Let me show you guys where I'm getting at, and then we're going to circle right back around to the Dak Prescott story, and also other quarterbacks have also fell for the same trap. Okay, Now, Tom Brady came into 2019 ready to make $15 million. Y'all, there is O-linemen, D-linemen, quarterbacks, receivers who make more money than Tom Brady, okay? Tom Brady, <laughs> he's not in even in the top seven, yet alone he's, he's one of the goats of this generation, okay? He's not even in the top seven of most, most paid quarterbacks, okay? But here's the thing, he would constantly take a cut because he wanted to win. I'm a Dolphins fan, y'all see me, I represent all my videos, unapologetically. I could give a damn how you feel. But let me tell you guys something, Tom Brady, I respect that man's passion for the game that I love, the game that I played, that I got my, my elbows busted up growing up as a kid, okay? When it comes to Dak Prescott, y'all, he, he needs to be hanging out with Tom Brady. He needs to stop hanging out with, with, with cokehead Ezekiel Elliott, okay, and go start hanging out with people like Tom Brady who are able to take and instill good habits in him about wanting to win, okay? And about, about what it's going to take for the Dallas Cowboys to ultimately start winning again. Now, a lot of teams like the Atlanta Falcons, they've had Matt Ryan, but they've needed help on defense. They couldn't afford a defense because your quarterback is taking majority of the salary cap, you know? Um, but when it comes to Tom Brady, I remember, you know, for the last two decades hearing stories about him, you know, Teddy Bruschi, them trying to re-sign Teddy Bruschi and, you know, taking money from his salary to give to Teddy, you know, and that's not how you get people to buy into your system. That's also how you get people to stay on your team and also retain talent, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I love seeing people get paid. I love seeing some of my favorite players stay on the teams that I love. Here is a list of all the current mega contract quarterbacks, okay? Russell Wilson, Ben Roethlisberger. But I'll take and I'll say this, y'all. Uh, when it comes to Dak Prescott's deal, what has he done to take and win a championship? Now, Russell Wilson makes sense when he got his mega deal. Aaron Rodgers makes sense when he got his mega deal. What do they have in common? One group of quarterbacks has won the big championship, and the other group of quarterbacks has not. They haven't won a Super Bowl, okay? Dak Prescott, you know, Jerry Jones, he's, he's notorious, notorious for taking and signing these guys who eventually it comes around biting them in the butt when they finally have a good team. I remember saying, and this is before I had the YouTube channel, y'all, that the Dallas Cowboys, their defense is good enough that it can take them to a Super Bowl. It's Dak Prescott's, it's Dak Prescott's season to lose, okay? Now, he did put up some phenomenal numbers, but unfortunately, Ezekiel Elliott 
played lackluster. They had injuries. They had a lot of issues going on over in Dallas, okay? Um, Dallas has something special. And after this year's draft, and I remember saying last year with all the contracts, I'm like, hey, it's now or never for the Dallas Cowboys. And Dallas sucked. It sucked. They were neck and neck with the Eagles, okay, <laughs> through, the, through the majority of the season, you know? Um, and, of course, they dominated teams, you know, like the Redskins and Giants and stuff like that, but and a few other stragglers. But, you know, they almost lost to the Miami Dolphins last year back when they were in tank mode, okay? Uh, just need I remind you guys. This guy wants to get $175 million for five years? You out of your dang mind, man. This guy wants to get paid more than Brady? You are out of your dang mind, man. He wants to get paid more than Russell Wilson? Come on now. You got to show us something. You got to show us something. You can't go preaching from the pulpit, do this, word of God says this, and then you end up doing the exact opposite. You can't say that you love your wife and then go hitting the streets doing other things. You can't say that you want to get paid and be taken seriously when you had one, one playoff run in your career. Come on now. These quarterbacks, come on. Jimmy G., you know, you got all these guys again, these mega contracts. Here's a here's a very interesting uh, very interesting statistic that I want to take and bring up to you guys. Drew Brees, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff. Okay, those those are just to take and name a few. Now, some of those quarterbacks have actually won Super Bowl rings. Ben Roethlisberger has won Super Bowl rings. Drew Brees. Let's mm -hmm. add them to the list too. Okay, um, but here's the thing: Did they make it to the Super Bowl after getting that big contract? Okay, you know, you had the Saints robbed. You know, a couple years ago by the Rams, you know, to take and go to the Super Bowl over that over that pass interference play that certainly would have put them in, in, in position to eventually end up winning that game. OK, when you have games like that and you lose that close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your owner's going to have to take and come out of pocket. Absolutely. He's going to come. But not for your quarterback. He's going to have to take and, you know, change out certain positions. He's going to take and look at, you know. The numbers and then ultimately see like hey who's been performing okay if you're not you're out i need to replace you someone better okay we had troubles in the run game that when you're looking at things like that you know it, it's going to take and cost money and when majority of your money is going to one single player you know football is not a one-man sport you know the quarterback can't throw himself the ball the quarterback can't block for himself and go oh wait hold on a second hike it Woo! no <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't take and work that way OK, so uh, Dak Prescott and what's very interesting is they brought in Andy Dalton. Listen, Andy Dalton, I'm not going to be like, "Woo, Andy's the man. He's good. But here's the thing. Andy Dalton is just as good as Dak Prescott. Oh, and they got him for way cheaper. I think the numbers were somewhere between three to nine million dollars. And Andy Dalton, he's happy to be there. If y'all don't remember, he went to TC. I actually seen him play in person. He played phenomenal, you know, against uh, Air Force Academy back in 2007. Um, but y'all, let, let me say something, man. Uh, Andy Dalton, I personally would prefer Andy Dalton because he's been in the league longer than Dak. He's going to be more in a position of power than any other time in his career. Right now, Andy Dalton is, okay? And if Dak Prescott wants to keep playing these games... Y'all, it's not too late for the Cowboys and good old Jerry to take and rescind that offer. To take and get that offer from him, okay? And then he's a free agent. Then he's, he's going to be out here like Cam Newton, like, please hire me. We'll work for change. <laughs> you know, come on now. Come on now, okay? Now, that being said, do I think this record is going to be there forever of all these mega contract uh, quarterbacks who never did take and win a Super Bowl ring? Uh, after they got their big contract? No, I don't. I think it will get be uh, some people who I think can potentially beat it. It's going to be Pat, uh, Patty Mahomes, man. Patrick Mahomes, man, that guy, he's he got a rocket of an arm. And uh, he has good players, Kelsey and Hunt and stuff like that. But compared to other teams that have way more weapons than the Kansas City Chiefs, way more weapons, I mean, and they don't have necessarily so much depth at the wide receiver position. I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs are, you know, one or two injuries away from you know, missing out on some star players. But, you know, Pat Mahomes is so good. I mean, he really brings the best out of people. So that's a guy I could see who might potentially break it. That's a guy who also may see that um, after getting a, a, a mega contract deal. But I don't see Matt Ryan 
winning another Super Bowl. I can see Drew Brees, uh, add him to the conversation. You know, that's another guy, you know, after having a mega contract, um, you know, I could take and see him ultimately getting paid and walking off into the sunset and ending his career. Um, Philip Rivers, no. I do. I did have them in my Dark Horse video as far as uh, Indianapolis Colts, you know, being a team that, hey, could potentially make a big run towards things. But point that I'm trying to get at, folks, Dak Prescott is not all that. Uh, I'm not a Dallas Cowboys fan. As a matter of fact, I can't stand the Dallas Cowboys fans. Um, they're annoying as hell. Um, I have a few friends that are great, huge Dallas Cowboy fans. Um, God bless them because their owner is a, he, he's a train wreck. And he, he, he falls in love with his players. I mean, Jerry Jones, call it what you want, but he knows how to build teams. He knows how to, he knows how to get talent. He knows how to get people to stay in Dallas for a very long time. Um, and he's a business. He knows how to market his team. Uh, uh, Ameri the, the, what's the big slogan? America's team, you know, but they haven't done very much to, uh, to, to please the uh, American fans that they have here, you know, in uh, Texas. So um, he needs to change his ways. He needs to pull, you know, Stephen Ross from the Miami Dolphins and let the coaches be the coach. Let the GMs be the GM. You just be the owner and, and kick back, okay? Um, he is a smart guy, but, you know, uh, I like that they gave Alden Smith another chance. And uh, I do see it as, as a, poten a potential good thing, you know? Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm rooting for guys who are underdogs and stuff like that, no matter what team that they're on, you know? But that being said, it's very hard to take and build a team, you know, when you have so many pieces that need filled. Now, Cowboys, man... They retained a lot of talent this offseason, and they filled a lot of positions. Uh, I think I, I personally would give the Dallas Cowboys a B plus. I thought they had a very good draft. Um, I feel like they have another chance at life and another chance at potentially trying to make it back to the Super Bowl. We all know how small that window is, y'all. We know, look, look at the Rams and their fall from grace. Look at the Carolina Panthers and their fall from grace. Um, you have a few teams, you know, like the, like the Seahawks. They're, they're knocking every single year on that door. Um, but that's such a small window, y'all. And I, I just see, I see him eventually taking the deal. This is how I foresee it. Him eventually taking the deal. They don't make it this year. They don't make it the next year. They can't resign certain people. They get new receivers. I, I just, I don't, I, I see, you know, coaches getting frustrated with him and stuff like that. Now he has gotten, he has gotten progressively better. No way, shape or form am I saying Dak Prescott is trash. And also no shape or form am I saying that he should get paid more than Brady. Come on now. Be quiet. Shut your mouth. Anyway, that's all I got today. Thank you guys for watching another episode of The Touchdown with Doug Smith. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead, hit down there, the little red button that takes and says subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Uh, also, make sure you take and follow me on Instagram. Make sure you also take and follow me um, on TikTok. Make sure you follow me um, on Facebook as well, too. It's the Touchdown with Doug Smith for both uh, Instagram and also um, Facebook. And then, of course, TikTok is just uh, the Touchdown, and that's it. So uh, make sure y'all holler at me. Yo, be safe out there. Crazy world, crazy times we're living in. The Touchdown! The touchdown.